at Trapper's Point Camp. Uh, guest here, Mitchell, caught a uh, 41 inch pike, and I'm going to show a video of how to flay a uh, northern pike and get the white bones out. And it's best to be seen on a bigger pike because you can actually see the bones. Cool. So, this will be the first step. I'm going to scoop underneath this fin. Cut that piece off. And you're make it a little. This is to keep the uh, knife from getting out of whack when you're flaying it. So you cut them open. I always flay so I can see the backbone. I always work on the edge of the table. So now I'm going to go straight down. And I'll lift up on that so it slices free. Go down until you. Pretty much you can't go down. You can keep slicing and you're going to hit into bone. And you turn your knife. And you just follow that invisible backbone. And you're going to end up right above the fins. Like that. And you keep going to the end. One flight. Big. And I gotta flip it around so I can follow this backbone basically. So now same step. I'm gonna go right behind the gill plate. Slice it there. Go down until you feel the resistance. Kind of hug the fish as you do this. Above the fins. Pull it down to the tail. And there's the other plate. Is it fit? Yep. I'll grab my other knife. And now the white bone process begins. I'll work on this flay here. First, I'm going to scoop behind the rib cage. You can see these bones real easy on these big ones. So it's a good way to learn and understand the way the bones are shaped. That's half the battle. Just kind of scoop behind it like this. I'm guessing take home. So I'll leave a little skin on, or I'll leave the skin on then. So there's the ribcage. Simple as that. You can feel right here to make sure you didn't miss any tips of the bones. Now, this is why it's nice to have a big one. You can actually see the bone right here. Now it's a Y bone, or it's an L shaped bone, not a Y anymore once you flay it in half. But that bone goes all the way, and you can kind of see where it stops right, right there. That's the last one. So you can see every single bone all the way down there. So that makes it really easy. You go on the backbone side of it. You follow that bone all the way up like that. There's a bone, and it cuts right on the back side of it, towards its back. You make the same cut right down the same one. You don't want to go too deep, and you don't want to cut through the bone that's under it right now. So you keep going, and now you'll be able to hear it tick. Ticking on the bone all the way down. You don't want to cut through that bone. You'll see it in a little bit. So now instead of going like this and that bone getting in your way while you're slicing, instead I get the knife right up in there. There's always a thinner part right here. There's a bone already. Not much meat right there. It gets thicker as you go. There. 
kind of just showing you what I'm doing here. So there's the bone. And now you can see the meat's getting thicker. Real thin here, getting thicker as you go. And there you can see where the bone stops right there. It kind of goes just like this. Now I turn that around and I follow this bloodline right here. I use the thick part of the knife and there's my knife tip going underneath that bone. So my tip's all the way deep. But I'm following an angle because it goes down and in over and you got to be under that down part. There's my tip. And there it is. You just slice it off right there. And you zipper it right out. That's the way. It's kind of at an angle and then straight towards me. Uh, that's one. One down. I'm just going to trim this for him. Show you again on this one. Again, scoop behind that rib cage and then ride your knife up right away. So once you get behind it, ride it up. As soon as you make that cut, you turn your blade, you just kind of scoop. You don't want to lose too much meat underneath there. Again, you can feel right there. Make sure there ain't a tip of a bone, which there isn't. Key is to have them straight when you're doing this part. So again, that bone's right through there. You can see the dots, and the dots end right here. This time you can't see the white tip says easy, but you can see the white dots all the way there. So you get on the backbone side of them dots. And just keep going down until you hit bone. On a small one, you gotta be careful because you can cut right through the bone. Now, right there, I got on the wrong side of one. So I just go like that. And now it'll be out of my way when I do the next cut. And you can feel the back side of it. If you missed any bones, you'll feel one right there. If you messed up, you just curve around it. And there it's ticking again. Again, you can see a tick and you're far enough down I shape it so I can get my knife in here there I am on the wrong side of one so I just tweaked it right there so it's fixed so I'll start with my knife right here so there's that bone and again I got my knife in here like this not like this There it is. It's real easy to see on a big one. So now it's starting to ride up already. It should have no resistance, otherwise you're cutting too deep if you get resistance. That's too deep. There we have it. There's your bone in there. And now on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and I see a tip going right underneath it. And I connect it right there. There's your bone. You can feel this, you can feel that. You can see the outline of where they laid. Outline on both sides of it. And that concludes my video of how to Y-bone a northern pike. I hope you enjoyed the video.
and thanks for watching.